Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another one of my brand review, try on and run through of old favourite products kind of thing. So for those of you who are new or perhaps you just haven't caught one of my brand review videos before, I've done a few this year. I did H&M, Arquette, Everlane and Mango. The purpose of these videos is just to go through my favourite brands one by one and tell you guys why I shop with them, what I like, what I don't like and why I choose to spend my money with these brands. So today it is finally the turn of my favourite French brand, Cezanne. So as I just mentioned, Cezanne is a French brand. They were founded in 2013, however, I would say they kind of popped up on my radar around about four years ago, but I didn't make my first order until about two years ago. And then a year after that is when I must have popped up on their radar from wearing their stuff and then we kind of started to work together. Now one of the reasons that I really like Cezanne is because they very heavily focus on quality. This is reflected in the price and I don't I don't want to use the word expensive because I feel like that is wrong when it comes to Cezanne. Cezanne is worth the money that they're charging for the items, but it is a slightly more higher price point than high street, which, you know, these are not high street clothes. It's not fast fashion, which is another pro of Cezanne. And now I just want to say for me personally, I don't find that they market themselves as a sustainable or ethical brand. I don't feel like they're really forcing that information on people. I feel like they're very proud of the fact that they focus on their quality and they make garments and accessories and shoes which are made to last. However, just having a little flip through their website, you will see that they are very transparent. There's a little section on there where you can go through and you can see all of their ateliers, their factories. They only have a limited number of them and you can go through and have a look and see how their workers are treated. And if you're shopping online, there is a whole plethora of information on the side of each product page and it will tell you all the details it will tell you the composition and the care a thorough size guide and size tips there's also some information sort of midway along the page and they're little icons and these are really clear icons which when you hover over them they will tell you a little bit more information so it varies depending on the product but there are lots of different things like if the item was uh, transported by road, if the packaging is recyclable, if it's organic. And there's also information on there about where the item is made because another bonus of Cezanne is that a lot, in fact, I believe the majority of their products are manufactured within Europe. And another thing that I really like is and this is kind of a pro and a con. And this is why when I discovered Cezanne about four years ago, I didn't make an order for two years because I kept making the same mistake and I never really understood why. So when Cezanne launch a new collection, they only make a limited number of items in each piece, each colorway, each size. This is not in any way, shape or form mass production. So it's very easy to miss out on some of the most amazing items that they bring out every season. And this is what I kept doing. I kept realizing that the collections had launched too late. And by the time I went on, my size and the items that I liked were always completely sold out and they sell out very, very quickly. So because they are responsible with their stock volumes, this does mean that it limits wastage and their ethos is that they don't want anything to go unsold. So you won't see sales on Cezanne. They do have a new little section, which is, I think, titled archives on their website. And this is where you can go into and any stock from previous collections and perhaps previous seasons that hasn't sold, it's all organized by size. So if you know your size with Cezanne, you can just click into that section and browse 
for example, all the tops in a UK size 10. Right, now I feel like I've done enough talking for the start of this video, so I'm gonna crack on with my new order and run through and have a bit of a try on with you guys and show you what I have picked up over the last few weeks from Cezanne. So the first item is, I mean, you can't get any more French than a Breton stripe t-shirt. Okay, so I've left it untucked for now just so that you guys can see how long it is, but I would just first like to mention the sleeves. These are deliberately a slightly more cropped sleeve because this is from a summer collection, so I find that they do tend to crop the sleeves slightly. I would probably wear them a little bit more sort of ruched and pulled up like this. So I have gone for the blue stripe, but this also does come in a blue and red stripe, which is equally as nice and equally as French. There is a little button detail on the shoulder there as well, which just adds a little bit of detail, makes it not so plain. Sizing. I thought I was sizing up on this and admittedly, even though Cezanne have really good size information, on each product page, I still sometimes struggle with their size. So it's a good job they've got a really good returns policy and a good returns procedure that's really swift because I often find that I have to exchange a lot of things. So this, I went up to a size medium. Now, some people might like things to fit a little bit tighter. I would be a normal standard UK 10. I've gone up to a medium, which I think would be classed as like a size 12. I probably could have gone for a large in this. However, I do have a tendency to size up and I like things always really, really baggy. This isn't by any means tight. There's definitely room. I mean, the fit on the website is more like this. So I would have said a small would probably have been the size that they would have directed me to buy. But because I like the fit of things a little bit more oversized and baggy, I probably could have gone up to a large. However, I'm happy with the way this fits. I think that it's nice to maybe have something that's not quite as loose and baggy as all my other things. So I'm gonna keep this one in the medium. And as you can see in terms of length, my waistband is here. The jeans, FYI, are also Suzanne, but we'll get to those towards the end of the video when I'm going through my favorites. Um, but they are a mid rise jean, so not super high. And even then this can still be tucked in either a full tuck or a half tuck and because there's not loads and loads of excess fabric it's not creating that little like band of chunky fabric around your waist so there we go that's item number one could we start off with a more french item now staying with tops i'm going to move on to item number two which is more stripes so again i went for this one in a size medium and actually this is more the kind of fit that i like so I think the stripey uh, Breton stripe t-shirt was probably more of a slim fit, whereas this one is more of a boxy fit. This is exactly the size of t-shirt that I like to have and how I like it to fit. So lengthwise, very similar to the Breton stripe. I could do a little half tuck with that. This one is actually 100% linen, so it's really breathable. It's quite a sustainable fabric as well, more sustainable than cotton is. And yeah, it just feels really nice, feels nice and lightweight. Uh, it did arrive quite creased and I've steamed everything on my rail so obviously linen does have a tendency to crease but you know with a t-shirt I wouldn't have said oh there's a lamp there I wouldn't have said that it would get too creased the sleeves as we all know I like to complain about the tops of my arms I should really just do some exercise tops of my arms are not my favorite point so I would say if I had my own way I would have the sleeves a little bit longer but yeah, all in all, I really like this t-shirt. I love the colorway. I'm just so drawn to these kind of very retro colors. Right, here we go. Another t-shirt to add to the ample collection of t-shirts I already have. Next item, and we're gonna move on to shirts. So we're having a bit of a gingham moment with this one. It's got a cute little bit of scalloped detail around the top there as well. Let's give it a try on. Okay, so this is called the Louise shirt. It's obviously in black and white gingham with this little scallop detail, as I was just saying. It has no collar, so it's more of like a sort of Victorian frilly style collar. And then I would probably wear it unbuttoned to about there-ish, just so that it gives a little bit of 
detail to the neckline. I'm not really a fan of having things buttoned up. I don't think like things being too tight around my neck. Lengthwise, very similar to the two t-shirts, not too much to tuck in, which I think is actually a really good bonus. And I have sized up to a 12. I do have to admit that I do size up a lot. In fact, the majority of the time I will size up in anything I'm ordering from Cezanne because I find their sizes A, to come up already quite small and B, I just like to have my things a little bit more oversized. Apart from jeans, jeans so far, I've been true to size in the jeans. Um, so yeah, I sized up in this one to a 40, which is a UK 12. And again, I've got this little bit of bagginess to the shirt, which I like. That's how I like my things to fit. I would stay true to size on this one if you wanted it a little bit more fitted. Again, could be tucked in. I like this, I think. On the website, they styled this with a cream pair of cropped wide leg jeans, and I really like that look. And I have a pair of jeans like that from Warehouse, so I'm definitely gonna pinch that look from the Cezanne styling team. But yeah, I really like this. I like the feminine little touches. Price-wise, 85 pounds. I realize I have just steamed right ahead and just got changed straight into this shirt. So this, is the Florence shirt. This is 100% silk. It's really beautiful, this shirt. You can feel how nicely made it is. This is one of those brands where you can like really tug on the buttons and you know that they're properly sewn on. It's not gonna just fall off after about five minutes. And um, so I've gone for the colorway of Ecru with a black polka dot. As you can see in terms of length, this one is a little bit longer. I mean, I've called this a shirt, but I suppose if it's made out of silk, it would be more of a blouse maybe. The hem is slightly longer at the back as well. So if you did want to wear it untucked, you could, and it would cover the sort of bum area. I would personally prefer to tuck this in, but I really like shirts which have this kind of neckline. So it's more of like a, a feminine neckline, less of a masculine neckline. This could work really nicely for if you have an office job or like a job where you have to dress smart. I think this would be a nice kind of playful but feminine little addition to your workwear wardrobe. But I also think that it works really nicely with a pair of jeans, like if you want to wear it casually, which is naturally how I would wear it. Um, so in terms of price, with this being silk, it is a little bit more expensive than the previous shirt. 90 pounds which actually i just think for the quality and speaking from experience i know how well uh cezanne clothing lasts and how it washes i think that that is really good value for money and uh, you know this is why we're here making this video because i'm happy to spend this kind of money on a brand that focuses on their quality like cezanne do now I'm done for tops, so I'm gonna move on to knitwear. Oh yes. This is actually the first time that I've tried this on. I did try everything else on when this order arrived a couple of days ago. But this, for some reason, I just stuck on the bed, folded it, and then put it straight on a hanger when I was coming down to the studio this morning. So this is the first time I've actually tried this on, and I love it. I know it's summer, and I know some of you will be living in countries where it is like 45 degrees at the moment. But as I live in the UK, the weather over here has taken a massive dip. Yesterday, I wore a jumper, and I needed it. So for me, I do still buy knitwear. And we're in July, almost August. Autumn's gonna be happening soon. So these are all my excuses for buying knitwear in July. So this is the Clement jumper. It is an ecru color with a mustardy stripe and then this little gray, black, beige, motley area. It's got very voluminous sleeves and it is actually quite an open, like an open knit. I've literally just got a nude bra on under here. I wouldn't have said you needed something underneath. And the majority of this, I think it's, hang on a minute, 50? Yeah, 50% 50 cotton, this jumper. So it's not at all the kind of jumper that's gonna itch. There's no wool or mohair or alpaca or anything like that in there that's gonna itch. So it is mainly cotton and it does feel it feels very cottony. I'd be a bit reluctant to tuck this in all the way round because I would feel like it's a bit 
mushroomy just because of the weight of the jumper it would kind of hang a bit weird but if you wanted to kind of do a half tuck you could so this would probably be a nice jumper for sort of summer evenings if you live somewhere with a breeze if it gets a bit nippier and even as we start to move in to the autumn season but yeah again another another very fine Cezanne knit and I am so excited for the new knits to start coming out for the autumn season as well so excited now i only have one knit to show you guys but i think i have another one at the end of the rail which is an older one uh, so i'm going to move on to my next category which is dresses dress number one is the solar dress it's navy with like a white is that a daisy yes it is like a daisy print and daisies are all multiple sizes has a button front which goes all the way down but to be honest with you this is just an easy slip over the head kind of dress there's no closure no zippy closure i've sized up in this one to a 40 which is a 12 just because last year i made some dress purchases and i found that i ordered a size 10 and some of them were a little bit snug because i do find that Cezanne runs on the small side so I thought with this season's order, I would order up to a 40 and actually they're quite loose. So I don't know if maybe they've changed their sizes a little bit. I definitely have not lost weight. In fact, it's more likely that I've gained weight. Um, but I feel like this one I probably could go down so it's a bit more fitted around the waist to a 10 because I've got I've got quite a lot of room in this. I've got a good few inches, but for summer, nice and loose fitting if you did want to size up. Just a really nice airy dress. And I love this sleeve length because it covers the area that I do not like about myself. It is essentially kind of just like a little English tea dress. Perfect for summer. And it's another one of those things, which I think this is something that Cezanne is really good at creating. Staples, which are not particularly trend orientated. These dresses have been around for years. And it's just something nice that you can whip out every single summer season. You could dress it up, dress it down, garden party, casual with trainers, which is how I like to wear them. Yeah, really good dress. Dress number two is the Beatrice dress. Don't know if I've pronounced that correctly because my French is nicht gut. <laughs> I know that's German. That was my attempt at a joke. Um, so this again i have sized up to a 40 and i have a lot of room it has an elasticated section at the back because oh there's that bloody lamp again as you can see it is a bandeau style it does not come with attachable or detachable straps this is a bandeau dress that's the only way it can be worn if you are heavier in the boob region which of course I am not, but if you were, you could make your own straps if you really loved this dress, but I just think it works beautifully as a strapless dress. I don't know if it's the color or just the style of this dress, but it's beautiful. And I think this is another dress which can be worn really casually with a pair of espadrilles or flat sandals, or if you wanted to dress it up, this could even be like a destination wedding guest dress or summer barbecue or something like that but it's so beautiful I don't I see yellow is very much my color yellow is a color that I can pull off and I love it so much I don't know if it's the color that's really pulling me in it is lined the lining is a hundred percent viscose but the dress the outer shell of the dress this yellow printed is 55 percent linen 45% cotton and yes oh, I love it I'm just trying to think where can I wear this like I can't wear this soon enough I want to get it on now oh it's so nice now I'm going to move on to bottom so I've got one pair of trousers and I've got a skirt so these are the martin trousers in navy I think they actually only come in navy so I'm going to give these a try I would have to say these are probably the most perfect pair of trousers I have ever seen in my life they're beautiful I tried it on with this little stripy t-shirt as well because I thought this was kind of a cool little outfit to try on there's two pockets at the front they're not particularly deep 
either they're not particularly deep or I have massive hands. I do have quite large hands, but I think the pockets aren't the deepest. The one thing which I would love to flag about these trousers is that they are long, which for me is a bonus because I could wear these with heels and I could wear them, well, I mean, they drag on the floor a little bit, which is so unusual for me, but I'm enjoying it very much. Um, so a really nice pair of trousers. I assumed from the feel of them, they're kind of like a crepe fabric. I thought that they might have been polyester, but they're not. They're actually 78% acetate, which is quite a rare fabric to find, and 22% viscose. They feel really nice. I've again steamed these so they look pristine now, um, but I think this kind of, it's a very sort of heavyweight drapey fabric. I think it would be good in terms of the amount that it would crease. Like you wouldn't get many creases in these, I feel. But yeah, a really beautiful pair of trousers. Again, could be dressed up, dressed down. On the website, I love how they've got them styled. They've got them styled with like a printed white t-shirt, which I just think looks really cool for kind of just, you know, going out and about around the city. Um, but I also think they could be a really nice pair of work trousers as well. Okay, and on to my last bottoms, which is the Colleen skirt. Um, it's got no pockets, which is a bit disappointing because I do love pockets. And admittedly, I've ordered this one in the wrong size. I've gone for this one again in a 40, which is a UK 12, and it's too big because it's supposed to actually fit around the waist, which is there so that it would be like a really cute little mini skirt. But on me, I literally have to pull this in order for it to fit, you know, properly around here. I have to pull it right down. So I suppose that's a good tip for you guys. If you wanted it to fit a little bit longer and more on the hips, then size up. If you want it to fit as it's supposed to, a little mini pelmet skirt around the waist, stay true to size. So I'm going to have to swap this one for a size 10, but at least you guys kind of get the gist. On the website, they've actually got it styled with this stripey t-shirt which I think looks really good and paired with a little basket bag and some espadrilles. I think that's a really nice combination and it's a hundred percent cotton but yeah a nice little number to have and price wise sorry I'm not prepared this is 80 pounds. Right now I'm going to move on to outerwear and I've actually wanted to buy this jacket for so long on the end of the rail, I have some coats. Their outerwear is incredible, really good value for money, really, really well made. And in here, I have, so this is a really nice, like, cotton dust bag. In here, I have a suede jacket. This is one of the pieces from Cezanne that they tend to have kind of all the time, like one of their staple pieces, which they create season after season. It's so beautiful. If anyone is curious, the black leather one is calf skin and this one is goat skin. And as you can see, it has gold hardware, which is very rare to get on a biker jacket. Normally it's silver hardware. This does also come in the more traditional black leather, which actually I think has silver hardware if you're gonna go for the black leather, um, but a really beautiful biker jacket. I have once more sized up in this one to a 40. I always find, regardless of the brand, that with a biker jacket, a leather jacket of some kind, that they do come up a little bit small, and I like to be able to put knitwear under my biker jackets as well. Although, this feels really comfortable over a t-shirt, because I've sized up, I feel like I do have a bit of room in there to be able to wear a knit as well. Probably not something super chunky, because as you can see, this is a crop style of jacket, and I think wearing a chunky knit underneath just wouldn't really work, but I could definitely fit a little cashmere number under there. I have recently, as you will have seen in my handbag videos, taken to buying leather, any leather goods, second hand, but this just completely wowed me, so I did have a little moment of weakness, which I feel a little bit guilty over, but it is very, very beautiful. Now I've got two items left in this order to go through with you guys. They're not items I'm going to try on because for the first time ever, I have ordered some Cezanne swimwear. 
And if you watch my videos, you'll have never seen me try on swimwear before, and I am not going to do it today. So this one is a little black gingham number. As you can see, they're both very similar in terms of cut. They have this deep V neckline, and then um, relatively wide straps. And on the back, again, very similar. This one just has the little bow detail, which I think works really nicely for this gingham print. It's very sort of picnic cloth basket-esque. Um, and they both have this really interesting sort of ruched detail. I don't really know what this fabric is. I mean, it's obviously swimwear fabric, but I just like the feeling and the texture of the fabric on both of these swimsuits. I personally think both of these are really classic and they're not the kind of thing that I'm just gonna throw away after one season. And I think a lot of people these days are tending to favour slightly higher price pointed swimwear and there are so many incredible brands that are making swimwear now um, but I just feel like swimwear is the kind of thing which is worth investing in a little bit more and just being careful with the styles that you pick. So that is the entire contents of my latest order from Cezanne. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I'm also going to take you guys through some of my old favourites from the brand. So I'm going to start off with basics. I have these two basics from Cezanne. These are about a year old now. I've forgotten the style name of these, but these are both exactly the same. They also have it in black, which I haven't got just because I have quite a few black t-shirts. These have been washed and washed and washed and washed because as you guys know, I love my basics. Um, I order these in a size medium because similarly to this t-shirt, this is how they fit a little bit more boxy. So I like them to fit a little bit more oversized. I believe if I can remember correctly, these are about 45 pounds, 40 to 45 pounds, I think. And yeah, I think it's really good value for money. Knitwear, I referenced earlier on. Again, you would have seen me wearing this on my Instagram. This is a really open knit, so you do have to wear a little camisole or a sort of skin colored t-shirt underneath. And this one actually is the kind of knit which probably would irritate some people's skin. For me, it doesn't because as I said earlier, I have a low itch threshold, shall we say. And yes, I know it's July and I know I'm about to show you two wool coats. Wool, I know. I know it's not the season, but I cannot express enough how amazing Cezanne is for their outerwear, wool coats in particular. I'm sure you regulars will recognise both of these. This one in particular I wore so much last winter. Again, size up in these, they're both a size 40 um, because similarly to the biker jacket, I like to be able to put a chunkier knit or even just something like a cashmere knit in, in autumn time, but in winter definitely a chunkier knit and I found that's how I was wearing this one in particular the most. And of course, Cezanne also do accessories. So you guys will recognize both of these bags. This is my Gaby or Gabby tote. This also comes in other colors and it comes in a camel suede as well. I have used this bag countless times. I throw it on the floor. I use it when I'm traveling. It gets thrown around and battered and it is still in the most incredible condition. They're durable. They are slightly more textured leather so they don't show up scuffs and scrapes very much really incredible quality. This is, I think this is called the Victor. Um, I haven't had this one for as long. I think this one, uh, Cezanne sent me this as a gift last year, I think in autumn time. It comes in lots of different colorways and I think it also comes in a different size. It's a very similar shape, as you will see, to the APC and I think it's called the Luna Bag. Um, it's quite a, a famous bag, but it's a really good crossbody. Again, it's quite structured. It has a structured bottom. The leather itself is very structured. It's quite stiff and it has an adjustable shoulder strap as well. So if you wanted to wear it as a shoulder bag, perhaps a little bit shorter. That's it, guys. I've come to the end of my waffling 
about Cezanne. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love to know what your favourite items are from my new little mini haul here. And I'd love to know if you've got any favourites from Cezanne, if you've got anything that you've had for years and years, because I'm sure there's some of you guys who have known about Cezanne for longer than I have. You probably discovered it before me. Um, and yes, let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thank you, as always, for watching and for spending some minutes of your day with me. Bye.